Hello everyone, this is Munali Mishra from KP Gate Classes. Now on 19th of August, the UPSC had conducted CPWD Assistant Architects examination on the second half. Now this particular question paper examination is kind of bringing in a lot of mixed opinions from different different aspirants and candidates. Some are saying that it was kind of towards the difficulty. Some were saying that there were a lot of in-depth questions asked and some said that this examination did live up to the expectations of your UPSC. Now, yes, the question was definitely in-depth, but again, it was kind of conducted by UPSC. So this was something that was expected. Now, the preliminary answer key has been released by KP Gate classes. So the link will be given in the description box below. You can go, you can check out your marks, how much you have scored. Or even if you have not att attempted the question paper, maybe you can look at the question paper. You can get an idea of what kind of questions were asked and you can cross check your marks, your marking based on the preliminary answer key. Now, please remember this is a preliminary answer key. There might be changes here and there based on more revisions. And please make sure to note down the booklet number before you cross check your answers. Now, um, the questions does come to our mind that how much because this is the first step and after this we have the interview step. So how much should we consider as the cutoff or which is the safe, uh, you know, marking and all of these things. Now, on an average based on the paper, even though it was in depth, but still it were very conceptual questions which could have been answered by somebody who had an in-depth no, thorough knowledge of the different concepts. Now, UPSC does ask always in-depth and thorough questions only, conceptual questions. So just having surface knowledge would not suffice while attempting any kind of UPSC CPWD questions. So on an average, at least 60% of marking on a very safe side, 60% of marking can be expected as a cutoff. The vacancy is very less. There are only 13 vacancies. So 60% of a markings, if somebody is receiving or is able to score a 60% of marking based on whatever you have, uh, you know, whatever the total score is, that is 300. That is a decent kind of a score for now to assume that you may have the chance, you may have a very good chance of getting into the uh, interview round for the to be called for the interview round you have a very good score so if you have somewhat around 60 or more than that even better so you can start preparing a little bit about your for your interview as well at the same time so you can uh, click on the link given in the description box below to cross verify to cross check your answer and to calculate your marks how much you're getting and uh, even if you are not scoring good amount of marks don't get disheartened because upcoming there's an even bigger for you know even bigger number of vacancies that is almost 53 vacancies for the post of deputy architect by cpwd the dates are not released yet so if you have not prepared for this examination maybe this is a kind of a wake-up call to understand it's kind of a glimpse to understand as to what kind of questions can be expected so the competition is going to be very tough there are 53 vacancies for the post of deputy architect which is a level 10 post and a grade a position definitely a very prestigious position so it's a wake-up call to start Kind of this question paper is kind of giving you an idea that this is the way in which CPWD is going to be asking questions. And the questions were very well, uh, you can say, distributed. You cannot say that just from one section they have been asking questions. You have from planning, you have from design, you have from uh, computer softwares, you have questions from acoustics, you have questions from illumination. So every subject was it. Water supply, all of these points were somewhat touched. So you have questions from every area, from every area. And good questions were asked. So it kind of gives you an idea as to what is the direction that you need to take for the next preparation for the post, for the upcoming examination for the post of your deputy architect for CPWD. All the best for your preparation for the upcoming post. And if you have any more queries or any kind of revisions to be made, you can drop down in the comment box below. Thank you very much.